My fiancé, a 28-year-old man, has some huge requests in order to regain his trust. Is his request too far? We've been together for six years now, and during the third year of our relationship, I cheated on him with a close family friend. I had started taking him for granted, and it became easy to cheat because I didn't value the relationship. He broke up with me. We were split for months, and during that time I realized he is a great boyfriend. I begged for him to take me back, and eventually he did. But I had to promise to never speak to the guy again. I'm happy to say I never cheated since then. I haven't even been tempted. I now truly understand how great of a partner I have. But here's the problem. The guy I cheated with was a close family friend. And recently, I rekindled our friendship behind my fiancé's back. It was nothing romantic. Have you ever met someone who's a terrible partner but a great friend? That's him. I hated the fact that I let a stupid mistake ruin our friendship. But my fiancé found out. He was furious. I apologized. We talked. He needed space. Then he sent me this text with his demands. After doing some thinking, I can't trust you. Whether it was platonic or not, this is the second time that I know of where you've violated my trust. Now, I have to wonder, how many other times have you done something behind my back that I don't know about? You claim this is it, but how can I believe you? I love you and want to work on this relationship, but it's going to require a lot from you. One. We are postponing our wedding indefinitely. When we got back together, it took 10 months for me to feel secure again. This time, I have no idea how long it'll take. Two, Eli, I changed his name, will be blocked on everything. You are never to speak to him again. This includes family events. If you know he'll be there, don't go. If he shows up unexpectedly, ignore him completely. Three, I want unrestricted access to your phone, social media, emails, everything. I want to know every password for any device you have. Four, no hanging out with male friends, alone. Five, if you go out with your homegirls, you must be home by 1 a.m. There will be more rules, but these are non-negotiable. If you can't agree, the relationship is over. Take your time to think about it. I called him but he refused to argue with me. He told me, don't call me back until you decide what you want to do. Honestly, I feel like this is extremely harsh, considering the fact that I didn't cheat this time. Ever since we got back together, I have never cheated on him. Someone said to me, you cheated on him and broke his trust. He stupidly forgave you, and then you went and broke his trust again by getting back in touch with the guy you cheated with. You are still so incredibly selfish that you don't think it's wrong that you did that. He never should trust you again. You are awful. Another friend said, he'll never regain trust. If you agree to these demands, you'll just grow resentful and cheat again. Learn from your mistakes and let him heal. Conversation with boyfriend. We had a really great conversation. He was vulnerable. And he told me that it made him feel like I didn't value him. He cried, and it hurt me to see the pain I caused him. He said, please, let's not move forward with this unless you can promise that you'll never go behind my back again. I can't go through this pain again. I promised him, I will never hurt him again. I will always be honest and upfront. We talked about the rules. He said they are temporary and will be adjusted as we go to couples therapy. Now it's time to put in the work to repair the relationship. I know it'll be hard, but I'm prepared. Ten months later, I have a fiancé but falling in love with a married man. We're getting married this fall. I've been with this amazing guy, and we've worked through so many issues. But about three months ago at my job, we got a new coworker. He's very handsome, extremely attractive. I've never been so physically attracted to someone in my life. We deepened our friendship, and romantic feelings grew. I repressed my feelings, but to my surprise, he confessed his feelings to me too. I told him, we have to think about our spouses, but our feelings kept growing. He told me he stopped being affectionate with his wife because he feels like he's cheating on me when he does that, and I started doing the same thing. I haven't been intimate with my fiancé. 
Here's the big issue. A lot of people will be hurt when this comes out. He can't divorce his wife right now because of finances, but he said he will as soon as he can. I have to call off the wedding, but I don't want to hurt my fiancé. Final update. I took everyone's advice. I ended things with my fiancé. This was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I know many of you think I'm a terrible person, but this is an unimaginable situation to find yourself in. I can't convey enough how much I care about my ex-fiancé. I know this is what's best for both of us, even though it's so hard right now. I wish I didn't fall in love with someone else. I wish I could make myself fall back in love with my fiancé, but I can't. It took me so long to accept this.